because I actually know a lot of guys in my age group that ride Harleys. I like Harleys to be honest. Yeah, that's a good one. Fucking spot on, bitch. But I find that, you know, at least under my generation, we're more about performance. And that's not to say Harleys are shitty bikes. They're not, they're not shitty bikes. They're just completely designed for a different type of person. And I'm not that person. But I do believe that's what's hurting Harley sales. They need to really appeal to the younger generation. They, they gotta put some, some good fresh technology. Yeah, that's right, blow that red light, motherfucker. They need to bring some new technology into this, into their bikes. Something fresh. Some high performance. Maybe they should think about, you know, making, not necessarily making a sport bike or a super bike, but making a, you know, a nice, a nice fancy performing bike. And not just, you know, technology from the, from the 80s and stuff. They're, they're beautiful bikes. There's a lot of... Great engines they have, especially nowadays. I know people make fun of Harleys and stuff like that, like you find them on the road, but the new Harleys are actually extremely reliable. They're really good. They just don't appeal to the millennials. That's what I call them. Anyone born, you know, 99, 2000, anything like that, Just it's just not appealing to them. They want performance. They want an adventure. That's why I have a bike. Shit like that. That car is stuck there. I'm gone, bitch. I'm gone, motherfucker. That's what Harley needs to do, though. They've really got to appeal. Yeah, that's slick, buddy. Real fucking slick. They, they got to get a, I don't know, maybe fire their marketing team and start fresh. Hire me as your marketing person. I could definitely turn Harley around. You guys need some new designers and stuff. Your bikes are fine, but you need a new model to appeal to the younger generation. Not my generation, because mine likes both. I still love Harleys. I would love to own a Harley, but there's no way I'm giving up a performance bike to get a Harley. There are two different things. And I don't get shit twisted. I have nothing against them at all. But they're just not appealing to the younger generation. They have a certain mindset. Like, they're going to be the generation that's probably going to be the first ones to buy these <coughs> electric motorcycles and shit. I'll probably be one of the last. But the new generation is going to be some of the first. And once these bikes start pushing out, what's Harley going to do? I haven't really seen a whole them do a whole lot with... the electric technology and the whole movement. And I want them to, I don't want to see them go out. Same with Indian. The thing is with Indian, I think it's Polaris that owns Indian. So I mean, depending what Polaris does, they can kind of work that into Indian, but Harley is Harley. They got to start buying up companies and stealing their technology and kind of incorporating into some of their models. Not all their models because Oh, come on, motherfucker. Yeah, I do love Harleys, though. I wish they would just... I don't know, they gotta come up with a new model. I don't mean a new model that, like I said, you know, appeals to the 40 plus range. They gotta come up with a model that appeals to the, like, 20, the 20 year olds. Mid 20s, early 20s, get them hooked. Get them hooked on your brand. Because those old fucks, I mean, there's still people my age buying these motorcycles, but not enough of them. There's not enough of them. Don't fucking stay.
stare at me, buddy. that's appealing to the younger generation because let's face it these guys they don't want them big V twins you know 1300 cc's that are just rumbling they want something with a little more giddy up like the V-Rod the thing with the V-Rod is it's too expensive for a lot of these kids that are just getting out of college and shit like that and I know that bike is not made for that generation. I would say the V-Rod's made for like my generation. In the 30s, early 30s, around that mark. Somebody who loves Harleys, but wants, you know, some fucking giddy up. Cause those things rip. Those things rip. I mean, I'd probably, I could truthfully say I know for a fact I could take any Harley in the twisties on my 600 double R. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not. I've gone out with a lot of Harleys, like in hard twisties, where you're actually pushing it and they're scraping pegs and stuff. So that's apples to oranges. They're not made for that. So that's not to say that my bike is actually better than a Harley. Because there are many situations where a Harley is 10 times better than my bike. Long distance cruises, you know, stop and go traffic. Uh, comfort, they're a lot more comfortable over long distances. And they have so much torque. They have tons of torque, like, in a, like you know, off the line, you know, a good size Harley, like a newer one, I think, will smoke my sport. I'm, I'm pretty confident that they would smoke my sport bike. Like off the line and like a quarter mile type run. Maybe, on, maybe not the whole quarter mile, but. For a lot of it, they could definitely, definitely haul ass. I don't want to get shit twisted, I'm a Harley hater. Like, get a real black. No, 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 don't get shit twisted, man. I love Harley. I like Indian better. But I do, I do still love me a nice, sexy Harley. They sound sexy. I just like my performance bikes better. You need to start appealing to the younger generation. So that, that's my two cents on it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. And, and shoot message, you know, shoot Harley a message. Tell them to smarten up. They make beautiful bikes.